Say hello to Iron Man RM, my Iron Man shop. After reaching every late game goal on my main after over a year and a half of play and thousands of hours, it was time to up the ante, a Shop Titans account unlike any other. The rules are simple. Absolutely no access to market whatsoever. Gems can only be used to rush furniture or open chests. No unlocking anything with gems, I must wait to unlock at certain levels with gold. No joining a guild unless I am in the top half of players and vests. And lastly, I will have access to Royal Merchant and the Academy so I can create runestones for enchantments and repair the gear that I will inevitably need to craft for my own heroes. I do not know what lies ahead but I am so excited for a brand new challenge with obstacles to overcome. I hope you are too. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3 of the Shop Titans Iron Man series. The last couple levels have been really interesting, lots of stuff going on. I had said at the end of last episode that I was going to be just saving gold until we got to level 40, but we caved and ended up getting two new heroes on stream, so they're actually level 11 now. It's these two newer ones. And then also we got our fourth questing slot here as well. And so spent close to 5 million, actually 6 million to unlock all of those, but making gold has been a lot faster now that we've been crafting some tier 5s. But uh, there's been some interesting stuff with that as well. Uh, but doing really well, getting pretty close to level 40 here, just saving gold for our expand crafting slot, new furniture, all that kind of stuff. So let's rewind to yesterday and we'll talk through all the stuff that's been going on. And then I will see you guys when we finally hit level 40. Let's do it. Well, we've been making really good progress here. This is our last blueprint that I need to finish for tier fours that don't use the next type of resource. So there's just five more uh, that I need to finish till we unlock the next blueprint. And then every single tier five blueprint is unlocked and gold value is done. Other than of course, these three, which all require these tier four um, blueprints require the next resource type, but all the rest are done. I'm in a bit of a predicament now though, because if you look at all of the tier five items that I've unlocked, they all use tier two resources, which is not great because I don't have any of those bins out yet. And I haven't decided if I'm going to switch out four of these racks for tier two bins for now until I hit level 40 for an expand or if I should just stick with the same thing that I've been doing, just do tier three, tier four, at least until I hit level 40 and then put tier two bins out. The decision has been made that I'm going to go a bit of a different route. It was between, in my mind, it was between sticking with tier three, tier four and waiting to level 40, then putting out tier two resources or putting away four racks, putting out resources, and then moving on. But somebody suggested after we talked through it, it was like, okay, I only have 200 and something research scrolls, like 207 or something, but I need 260 research scrolls to unlock all the tier five. So I don't even have enough scrolls anyways. So going the slower approach is better so that I actually have enough scrolls. But what if I put out, if I didn't put any racks away, but then I put out just two different types, like, Two different resource streams and then start it on the next ones that makes a lot of sense so now i'm going to start doing these three i kept leather out because then this one's going to need it anyways and then there's a few leather items in here that i can choose from and so i'm actually going to go with shoes for now simply because i have those three and then also these are the component that i'm making right now so we're going to unlock this and then as i master and finish uh, unlocking the tier six, get the gold value, then I'll probably move on to other leather items, whatever it ends up being, whatever I decide, depending on components and all that stuff. And then this will kind of be our route until we get to level 40. And then of course, with that, we'll have our full eight resources, throw out two more, four more racks and be off to the races a little bit earlier than usual tier five. So, uh, I like the plan. I'm, I'm really happy with it. So, uh, probably I'll see you guys when we finally hit level 40 in a few days. I'll see you then. Oh, there it is. Finally, level 40. Crafting slot, hero slot, trade slot, and expansion. So good. Awesome. We got our basement now as well, and I think our pet, our second pet is unlocked. So much stuff. Basement, expand, free.
Amazing. So we hit our level 40 and I have 14.2 million saved up. So we're going to get our shop expand right now. Expand here 10 mil and it's a day away, but I won't be streaming for a couple of days. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm just going to wait to finish this and do anything or if I'll just do a couple of things before stream on Friday, but we'll see what happens. But we got it as well. Of course, we have our crafting slot. 2 million gold. Excellent. And um, we have one more hero slot as well, but I need to save up 5 million. And then once that 5 million is done, I'm just going to be pretty much focusing on my new furniture, some upgrades, and getting this invest ratio better because it's not looking so hot right now. But so happy, super excited, level 40. <laughs> New expansion is done. Over 760 energy now. First couple upgrades are done. Multicraft is actually on right now, which is amazing. So feeling really good. Also saved up a couple more million than I had when we first got level 40 today uh, because I want to get our last or one more hero slot, which will be our 12th hero. So we'll be finishing off. Let's do it now. Our fourth spellcaster, sorcerer. And then all of the first four fighters, four rogues, and four spellcasters are done. So that means that we only have six more heroes that we don't have yet. So let's do sorcerer. We're going to go a small fry on this one. You know who you are. <laughs> let's go. Sandra as well. So once we get her, and then we get her a couple of levels, then we'll get the Mundra offer, which is going to be amazing because once we level up Mundra a little bit, then we'll have the ability to switch our chests over to components, which will alleviate that bottleneck a ton if we are lacking components. So really excited about that. Actually, I think it's going to be a huge benefit to this account for sure. Okay, there's Mundra. I actually just bought her right away. Awesome. So good. We're over 2k gems now, which is kind of crazy. And then also we now have access to be making components ourselves from chests. So obviously the two new workers are level one still, but we'll be leveling those up over time and that'll give us a huge step up. So next uh, we're just working on tier fives, one more tier four left, but all the rest are tier five. So we're going to be working on, of course, the gold increase and the unlock of tier sixes. We're almost at a blueprint scrolls as well, which I think is going to be a big consideration once we kind of finish tier fives and feel out where we want to go from there and what our big bottleneck's going to be. Next big purchase, I want to get master because some of the tier five items need them and then all the tier six items need him as well. And so I'm going to save up one mil right now to get him. This is our biggest sale yet. An NPC sold us this. So that gets us over 40% of the way there. So <laughs> I'll see you when we get there. Finally, this is it. One mil. Beautiful. I'm going to fully switch over to enchantments because I'm full inventory already. I have some fodder, but full inventory. And, uh, it's just such a pain crafting these. Like I want to master them eventually, but they, I have to obviously make the rune stones and they take a ton more components than everything else. And, Obviously, if I can multi-craft a lot of them, it's going to make me a lot of money, a lot of XP. So I'm going to fully switch over to that for the next little bit until I at least run out of items or components, whichever comes first. But anyway, here's the master, our last big unlock for level 40. Excellent. Done. 1,500 gold left. And there's our scorecard. 11 days in, all the level 40 stuff paid for. Completely done. And now it is just time to focus on invest, get our tier fives, uh, gold values done, unlock our tier sixes and uh, go from there. So I'll probably see you guys on stream in a couple of days. Well, here we are. The end of episode three just finished streaming for a solid four hours and it was really good. We hit 25 mil invest, got a couple of new guild members as well. And so things are cruising along. We 
increased our invest by two and a half times today alone. So almost at a gold, uh, but super happy. We ended up getting our second pet, which was five mil as well. And so we've got Cookie and Dana. And uh, in terms of crafting, we actually only have like 10 more tier fives that we need to do gold value for. And then all of our tier fives are to the point that I want them to be. So once we hit that, then we'll be able to make a solid decision for what we want to do moving forward, depending on how many research scrolls we have and things like that. Uh, but otherwise really happy trying to get all of our bins like these ones to tier six tiers or level six level seven and then we'll probably do one more level on each of these one more level on each of our trunks to get them to level six and then i'm planning on just focusing energy like from this point on until at least like level 50 or onward so happy with that in terms of characters of course we've got our 12 heroes uh lowest ones level 11 been crafting like lucky craftsman i just crafted this legendary on stream and then i did a double legendary helm earlier with multi-craft like yesterday like it's been actually crazy so that'll be it for episode three and i'll see you guys next time as we really get into mid game now that uh early game is pretty much done so i'm excited for it see you guys probably in a couple days at the beginning of episode four